Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create installer in your Java application built by Maven with MySQL database. So I will give you the link of this in the description. So click this code and download the zip. Then proceed to your download location, which is this one. This is zip file. Then after you unzip this file, then you will see this folder. And then you will see this project one then open your net builds then open uh, the project this one then after you create uh, before you create exe of this file um, configure the um, database here so change the database name if you change your uh, database name but if you don't if you remain Aldrin POS, it's okay. Then change the root, your username in your MySQL. If you change, change this. Then change this uh, Aldrin in your uh, MySQL password. So let's proceed. After you change this one, then if you can run, then if it is successfully run, then you can pr proceed. So create a exe of this project. So open the form, then scroll down. This one, you should insert the code here below the dependency or after the dependencies. Then I will share it to you the link of this. Uh, this one. So type executable jar Apache Maven Shield plugin. Then after you search that one, then this site will appear. Then there's um, how to create your file, but it's, uh, scroll below because that is not um, how to create jar because that that is over jar, no manifest. So here below there's a manifest file. So let's copy this build to build. Copy, then proceed to your pong in your netbeans, then pong, paste the build file, then change the main class here, this one, into your main class. So let's delete this one, then let's put um, com, then aldrin, then POS. Then our main class here is Aldrin POS. Then dot Aldrin POS. So this is our main class. So let's save. Then after that, um, you can clean and build. But if you don't uh, sure, you can uh, build with dependencies because uh, I download the dependency already. So let's let's um, right click the Aldrin POS, then clean and build. Then it will create jar file. So let's wait for a while. Oh, there's a yellow warning here because uh, we attach the um, dependency in the pool. Okay, it is building, building the jar. There's no problem with that. Then there's a file here, this one. So let's open this file. Here, uh, there's um, 50 MB, 54 MB. So let's delete this uh, unnecessary file. Delete. Then let's add here, uh, for example, new folder for our report. So let's put here source. Then back to the project. Then let's copy this src or source. Then target, back to target. Then open the source, then paste the src. 
Okay. Then, that is the um, procedure to in a setup. But let's proceed to um, land launch 4G. Okay. Able to create. So let's browse the location of the output file. So we want to put in the target folder. Then let's put here uh, Aldrin exe make sure that you put extension here that exe then save then uh, let's select the file this one the 54 mb then open then as uh, open the uh, icon so that co the uh, okay that ico file this one okay so let's click this one there's no necessary configuration of this one so let's make it pass so this three also uh this three is the most important so click this button build wrapper so let's put it in the target folder so let's put here uh, example uh, or j so let's wait because this is um, processing, wrapping the jar file. Okay, let's see the exe file, this one. Let's try if it is okay. So let's try to log in. Okay. So let's see if there's a database. So there's a database. So there's no problem with that. It's okay. So let's proceed to, let's close this um, loss for G. So let's proceed to Eno setup. So I will give you the link of this uh, Lance 4 g where you to download the Lance 4 g then the Eno setup. This one, the link, I will give you the link. Then click this. Uh, us to download the installer so let's proceed to you know, set up application so let's close this one then let's click the file then let's create new then next so let's create here the name of application is aldrin uh, you can put um name in whatever you want so, not necessary you to follow my uh, naming of application, for example, Andrin. Okay, next. Then this is our default program files folder. Then this is the name of our folder inside the program folder this is the name of our folder which is altering pos the next then let's browse the executable file so let's browse the location so and uh, the downloads then this folder let's find the axc that we created in launch 4g this one this is axc then let's add um folder so let's add folder here down um downloads um this one then target then click this source to include the src okay only this source okay yes include then if you can see here this is the example so the src is included here so next then this is the file name aldrin pos okay next then the license this is not necessary but if you want to put a license then 
just create in a text file then browse here then next uh, next then here this is the custom compiler output so, so you can browse where you want to put the output exe installer so let's select this download then select then let's put in the target okay then let's put here our name of an installer so put, let's put here um uh, aldrin pos setup then let's browse the icon for your installer then let's proceed to downloads then uh, this uh, ico file then next next finish okay you would like to compile the new script now yes okay let's compile um you would like to save the script before compiling this is not necessary okay no so it is compiled your exe compiling as installer so let's wait so the location inside uh the installer located in the target folder so because that is our setup in the target this is our aldrin pos setup so let's try to install this um installer to our pc so you would like to install yes okay let's wait src okay this one this is the default folder then, for example, let's create a desktop shortcut. Next. Then, install. Okay. Then, run. So, I want you to see the um, output. No. Um, output this one this is our installer so let's uh, log in if we can log in that is successfully create so we can log in this is our uh, installer so let's see if there's a data there's a data so we can uh, we are successfully created the uh, installer so let's right click this then let's see the inside of the folder so this is the src we include this is the file which is the total of this is i think this is 54 mb properties so 62 mb uh, that, that which is included the src folder okay so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel because in the friday i will create a tutorial which is ad very uh, advanced which is you can uh, use it in your de the development which is it talks about the performance how to check the performance of the database and the uh, color polymorphism there's a lot of um, com compact topic so don't forget to subscribe and Check the notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.